begin drafting the back pattern, simply go to this rectangle tool, click on it to select, then click one on the page, and I'm going to type in the width of 22.75, and press on the tab key, the height we want to type in 63, then click on OK to confirm. Next, we want to create internal line for the pattern. Simply use this Edit Pattern tool, click right here to start, right click, and we want to select Offset as Internal Line. In this case, we will create four internal lines. Simply click on this arrow here, and I'm going to change the distance to individual. Offset from is selected line, and I'm going to expand this window a little here. So the first number, we want to type in 1.5, then press on the Tab key. Second number, 3, and then the third number, will be 23 and the fourth number will be 35. Next, we'll click on OK. After that, I'm going to create the internal line from center. Simply right click, and then click offset internal line and we want to create four internal line, which is perfect. I'm going to type in the first one here, 8.5, press on the tab key. The second one, I'm going to type in 19. And then the third one, I'm going to type in 21. And the fourth one will be 22.5. Let's expand the window here. Then I'm going to click on OK. Next, we want to convert these internal line to baseline. Simply right click on the page and we want to lock all pattern outlines. Then my key selects all these lines here. Right click and then select convert to baseline. Next, we want to lock the baseline here. After that, I'm going to unlock the pattern outline. Next, we want to draw the back pattern shape. Simply use this internal polygon slash line tool. And I'm going to click one right here and right here, and then come over here, then zoom in a little. We want to click one right here, and then click one right here, and then I'm going to click twice right here to end the line. Next, we want to curve the next and the armhole as well as these waist. To do so, I will switch the tool to this Edit Curvature tool and simply click and drag it in to create the curve as well as right here. Click and create the curve. And on the west here, I'm going to use a different tool right here, Smooth Curve tool. Simply click one and then drag it out, right click, and click on this link icon here, then type in 7. After that, click on OK. Next, we want to create the front pattern. Simply use this Edit Pattern tool and begin by clicking one up here. Right click and select Offset as Internal Line. And I'm going to change this to 1. And I want to change the value to 14 for the front neck depth. And I will uncheck this reverse direction box and click on OK. After that, I will create two more internal lines from this back shoulder slope. Simply click on it, right click, and then select offset as internal line. And we'll increase that to two. In this case, I'm going to check on this reverse direction box here. And I will type the value here one, and then press on the tab key, and then 1.5. After that, I'm going to click on OK. Next, let's convert them to baseline. Right click and then Convert to baseline. After that, let's lock some as well. Next, we are going to draw the front pattern shape. Simply use this internal polygon slash line tool. Click one to start, and then zoom in a little. Click one right here, and then come over here. After that, click on twice to end the line. Next, we want to curve the neck as well as the armhole. Simply use this Edit Curvature tool. Click on it and slightly drag it in. We want it to create the natural shape. And next we're gonna curve this in simply a little from the front. Now we are going to trace them as a pattern. We will use the transform pattern tool and begin tracing the back pattern first. I'm going to switch the tool to trace tool here and then press on shift, click right here, right click and then select trace as pattern. And I'm going to click one to place the pattern. After that, let's switch the tool to transform pattern tool. We want to make a copy here. Click one on that pattern, right click, and then select the metric pattern with sewing. Let's simply pressing on shift and then click one to place the pattern. I'm going to right click on that pattern and remove link editing. After that, click one on the page to deselect and let's remove these internal lines here. Now this is the back pattern and I'm going to simply cut this, turn into a front pattern and remove the extra pattern that we don't need. And I'm going to simply use Edit Pattern Tool to remove this point that we don't need. And then we'll convert this to a curve. 
simply use this edit curvature tool click it in and then drag it in until it reaches this point right there now you have this perfect curve for the front and back